what I need to see. It is Tuesday, June 8th. It is 11. Now it's darker. It's 11, 12. I just made it just in time. I found you just in time before. Before what? Whatever. I know we didn't plant. We were bailing hay. How many, how many bales of hay did we bail today? How many did we pick up? Only around. Let's see. How many? How many bales of how many? How many bales of hay did we pick up? Only eight. Eight. How much do they weigh? About a hundred pounds. Katie and I were picking up. We have. I learned how to pick up bales of hay well, with you a, used the hay, a, a hay, hook. A hay hook. A hay hook. I'm like. <laughs> oh, and I learned how to drive a gator. Blanche is going to drive the gator. Six by four. She already asked. She the said, I'm going to be four. on my, she's riding out in her it's got six, Nova. It's got six tires. It's a gator. Apparently it can, climb, it can climb up a hill. Am I here? Did I even make it here? Yeah. I have to see if I, your house. Lillian can do that. Hi, Mama Grace. Hi, I'm going to have a glass of wine. Somebody right. gets it. Oh, let me just see if I've, if I've made it. I'm editing the privacy. You know, you guys, when I do, when I go live here, it's so much easier. And then I start here and I'm like, what the heck do I do? What do I do? I don't even know what to do it now. I have to, like, it's been years, I feel like. Hi, there are five of you here. William, Joanne, Julie, heavy. Hey, 100 pounds. And it was wet. And I became a, I, I've officially... Well, how, what are we going to call that, Katie? When I was I was singing to Garabato, my I'm, I was serenading. That's one of my new. It's one of my new new um talents. I I was serenading a horse. First, I found some music, and then I was singing along with him, and he was like, getting all zen and shit. Don't say shit on the thing. It's very in. It's inappropriate. Was he really calm? It's not flattering. Yeah, he was like all, oh. and then I was like, it's not flattering. Ooh. so I'm a horse serenader. I'm adding that to the list. And a hay bucker. Oh, and I am a hay bucker, and I can drive a gator. I can. You learn to feed too. I can drive the gator. You gotta, you gotta weigh the hay, like every time, really. If you're I wonder what my mood earrings were like when I was weighing hay. Two days ago, I, last night I was on stage. Today I was weighing hay. Hey, hey, what's up? Grace is having wine. Hey Hi, there, Amy. Suzanne. What's up, Amy, girl? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight Doctor. is Tuesday. Doctor. He's not here yet. Oh. He's not here yet. He's off doing, he's at a party or something. He's having a dinner party. But... Tonight, Dr. Andrew Rader will be here. Doctor. Tomorrow morning. Baking with Patty. Do you want to do it, Lisa? And then what happens tomorrow night? Uh, let's see. Is, um, oh, I know. What? Meanderings? No. Wine and. Oh, it's wine, it's wine and biscuits with a beautiful lady called Shauna. Cookies and cocktails yeah, she with Shauna. Yeah, she did. And then Thursday morning, what happens? That's called. Uh, Meandering. Oh, Blanche from the ranch. Blanche goes ranch. Ranch and Raven and uh, where, driving. And Meandering. Thursday night. <laughs> it's it. going to be, um, <laughs> we're going somewhere. Conversations with the creatives. creatives. And then Friday morning. We will um, meander with, with Jeff Mexico. Friday morning. Armando. Oh, Mondo with pie and coffee and cake and everything. I'll oh, drive in from LA. From we never there. ate the pie, Mondo. Oh, Mondo, you missed the peanut butter pie. No, he la he brought he carried pie up. No, but I could have offered him peanut butter pie. And then Friday night? 
Uh, one more Friday night with Jeff Metzger. Friday night. Display and share. Display and share. Saturday morning. Uh, one more Saturday morning with um, Jeff, Jeff Metzger. Metzger. Yes, but who's going to be my the guest host? Guest host. Jeff, Jeff Metzger. Guest host. Wow. Jenny going to be on the airplane. No, Joanne, you're on Thursday night. Conversations with the creative. Actually, it's conversations with the chair on Thursday night. Did she get her chair? She got her chair, Mama. Wow. She got her chair. And then Saturday night. And then one more Saturday night with um, Gary. And I will be at a party. Because I'm doing a, um, I'm making a dessert board. I've been hired to do a dessert board. Maybe there will be a horse there that I can serenade. And then Sunday morning, what happens? Yeah. Meander, meander. Oh, I'll be so tired. And then Sunday night? Um, Anybody? Um, Sunday night? Hey, Carl. Let's be Meditation. Sunday night. Musicians Square Table. Sunday night, you eat the English muffins. Sunday night, Musicians Square Table. No, tomorrow is Macon and Bacon with Patty. Tomorrow night, Cookies and Cocktails with Shauna. Monday morning, we meander, and Monday night, we meditate, and Tuesday morning, I don't know, and Tuesday night, it's, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Andy, Rada. Rada. everything, Dr. Rada. Dr. Lily and Pearl needs to go outside, Lily and Pearl needs to go outside, Pearl, what are you eating? There he goes. In that chair. Hey, Bill Jones, what's up? There's a plethora of people on here tonight. Plethora. Hi, Shauna. Uh oh. oh. Love you. That was me. Hi. Hi. Gracie, Gracie wants wine. Oh, you already got it. Gracie's got her wine. She's getting her. Hi, Emma. Emma, girl. How's Emma doing? Very good. She's doing all right. We went for a good walk today. Good. Yeah. She's a cutie. Now, is your shirt, is that an R or is that a D? What's on your shirt? Oh, it's a D for Drake High School, which is now Archie Williams High School. Oh, cool. It's a big hall, big old long story. Are you gonna tell it? Well, shorten it. So this year, <laughs> Shauna <laughs> says shorten it. If you're gonna tell that long story, Andy, you're gonna truth, shorten it. <laughs> the truth of Sir Francis Drake, the British pirate All right he did nasty things not a and good man so finally he, that history caught up with him and there was a movement to change the name of drake boulevard french drake boulevard but that goes through five different municipalities including the county not unincorporated areas so all those different towns have to vote where they want to change the name but the high school, oh, Shauna was out cutting flowers from the garden. From the garden. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, really pink like that. Beautiful. Hi. I miss you. Oh, yeah. I know I want to come back to. Your phone? Back to the story. Because uh, we're making it longer. <laughs> Drake High School, uh, the staff and faculty, boom, they acted quickly and they immediately got rid of the name before they figured out a new name. And then they were calling the school by its street address, like High School 1357, something like that. And then really? they, yep, and then they went through a whole process, it was a big deal process, and they finally came up with. Archie Williams High School. Now, Archie Williams, like 
Jesse Owens ran in 1936 Olympics and won gold medal, I think, in the 400 or 440 hurdles. And, and then he, he was a Tuskegee Airman, Airman during the war. And he did a bunch of other things. And then he ended up being a high school teacher at Drake High School for many years. And because- Why didn't they name it Joe DiMaggio High School? Because Joe DiMaggio didn't go to Drake High. Jim Turner says, hello, Lisa. Jim Turner says, hey, Jenna, say hey to Lisa for me. He, I went to school with her. Hi, Jim. Hey, hey, nice to see you. I remember me going to school at Hollywood. Go Lancers. Go Lancers. I was just Hi. saying, because Joe DiMaggio lived in Fairfax, but so did Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Do you remember Marilyn, the- Joe and Marilyn lived in Fairfax? Yeah. I Do you remember the house, the hippie Playboy Mansion that I used to stay in? Yeah. They lived next door. Wow. And Marilyn, remember the bar in the hippie Playboy Mansion? The yeah. little tea bar? Yeah. Marilyn sat on the chair and it and it's 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 um sign yeah. Marilyn lived here. Marilyn sat here. <laughs> yes, I lived in a hair. It's called the well, I call it the hippie Playboy Mansion. That's all I'm going to say about it. Anyway, what was the previous mascot name for Drake? The Privateers? They were the, they Someone were the, is pirates. They were the pirates. Pirates. They were the pirates. Now they're the Falcons, the Peregrine Falcons. Because Seems complicated. Archie Williams was runner. He was a runner and he was fast. Peregrine Falcons are the fastest. Yeah animals, I believe. Um, and then he was a Tuskegee Airman, so he flew. So there are all these, and peregrine falcons are indigenous to Marin. So there you go. Ah, uh, Morocco. Great story, Andy, thank you. short well there are 13 people on my name is jenna mamina i am here every day at 11 11 a.m and every night at 11 11 p.m eastern time so if you want to be on the show everyone has a story but tonight it's dr andrew rader acupuncturist and hypnotherapist to those of us that can't sleep <laughs> last week dimaggios are in my family yes She's outside. Can someone let her in? Hey, Karen. Um, last week, Andy hypnotized me on the show. And Kate, Katie, didn't you fall asleep? When Andy hypnotized us? Katie fell asleep. Putting people to sleep for years. And then you met me. <laughs> and then, and I was, can you make sure she's there and not eaten by a coyote? Oh, good. She's not eat, hasn't been eaten by a coyote. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lillian. She's here. So, and then I stayed. Oh, I know. Isn't he cute? Andy, Suzanne Hertzman just said, Andy, you are cuter than cute. Aww. Yeah. And then you guys, that night after the hypnosis, then we all went, we finally went to bed because we were all talking a lot and we stayed up late. Talking a lot. And and talking a lot. And Talking a what? lot. What? Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Talking a lot. What's going on? Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Talking a lot. What was that? Did everyone else hear that? I did. Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Is that you, Andy? Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Uh, how's that? Is that better? Well, um, it's different, and you're not different. stuttering. Are you, hearing, your, are you hearing, hearing echoes? Yourself? Is it okay now? Yeah, that, that was, was totally making deep, right? Go in the lat. Space, space. 
I was about ready to start dancing, but I was getting a little nerved out. Yeah, that was weird. Is it good now? Can you switch back to that other thing that you were doing? Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Hey. Talking a lot. What's up? Talking a lot. How you doing? Talking a lot. Talking a lot. What's going on? Talking a lot. Talking a lot. Talking. <laughs> you hear that, Andy? No. Oh, it's a scarecrow. Wait, let's go back and watch this part of the show. <laughs> Wait, it so, just started happening, though, right? Could be the FBI, CIA, or the KGB thing to go in. Yeah, but now it sounds like you're on AM radio. Well, with a vacuum. With a or a hair dryer. I don't know what to say. And, it, and you can hear me. If it's good enough, let's just keep it the way it is because. May I make a suggestion? Sure. How about you leave the Zoom meeting and come back, come back by that back. other microphone? The other one, the one I started with. Talking in Latin. Talking in Latin. All right. I'll, I'll leave. Very had like a feeling hand vibe. I'll leave and come back. But all the way. God Anything. willing. God willing. Okay. You know what? I'm going to actually take a minute or two. I'm going to uh, shut down the computer and restart it because I heard that could help too. Now I got that on my head. Bye. So you guys, so he hypnotized us all, right? Katie fell asleep. I think there were a couple, I think Carol responded quite well. And, um, and then we were awake because we were talking and then um and then shauna said andy you should hypnotize jenna to go to sleep so he did we you know i went to bed he sat in a chair he hypnotized me and right when he walked out of the room i go i'm awake and then he came back and did it again so Anyway, not saying it doesn't work because then it did. Talking to Latin, talking to Latin. There are 11 of you here. Hi, hi everybody. So yes, tomorrow morning, Macon and Bacon. I know, wait, maybe that's what it was. Macon and Bacon with Patty, I think. I think, I didn't read, I didn't hear back from her. And then tomorrow night, cookies and cocktails, Shauna. But Yes, today was fun. I have a something. Hey there, Melanie. Lisa, Melanie's here. Yo, Mel. What's up, Yo, girl? Yo, Mel. Patty oh, Loman is watching. Here. Oh, gosh. I need to plug in my phone or my laptop right now. Hold on. Talking to Latin. 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 What was that? We had a better, we've had a better Jenna this week. You mean, what do you mean by that? You've had a better Jenna. Tell me, because, uh oh, wait, talking a lot. We've had a better Jenna this week. I want to, oh, because all, all the music, lots of music going on. The music is the magic of us. I have this new table that I'm working from, and I'm not sure. Wait, it, I gotta plug in, but it's not giving me enough space. Oh, I'm stuck. Hold on. It's hypnosis. Oh, yeah? Hey, well, it works. Okay, can you plug in, please? Plug in the brick. Oh, yeah. What? My gosh. Lisa is just so on, you guys. Oh, can we? Should I show him the candle? How does it come around? Got to turn off from the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try this. Talking in Latin again. Talking in Latin. Where's my arrow? You know, sometimes you can't find the arrow. Doctor Andrew Rader. Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, it's gone. Whatever that was is gone. But, but my laptop is about to expire. Yeah, no battery though. It's not responding to my plug-in here. Hold on, everybody. What's that? Shoot. Pick, take that thing off of there, please. Please take it away. We're having... We're having some fun technical difficulties. At least we're all laughing, because everyone's laughing, right? So I, I um, was talking about alien air travel. Um, I heard that they're not letting animals who are um, service, dogs. service dogs on. They're not and letting them on. Why? Because. They were uh, there was too much too much going on and the airlines just didn't want to deal with it. But then I said, but I know that Jenna took her dog on a flight, and then I heard that the limit it's cut off at twenty pounds. So if the really? dog is under twenty pounds, then this is all hearsay. When did you start hearing this? Uh, yesterday. Hmm. Well, there's a, um, you have to go through the Department of Agriculture and, and you fill out a form online. Mm -hmm. it, like, like I have paperwork, I have like cards and paperwork and all this stuff. And then now you have to go through and fill out this whole other form and put in doctors and trainers, phone numbers, and they actually but all of this you. starts in 2021. Sorry? All of this apparently started in 2021, new new changes. Yeah, she's been on f four flights, so three flights so far. Yeah. One out here and then two round, and then a round trip. She's under 20 pounds, so apparently it doesn't She's affect. 11 pounds, 11 ounces. Oh, my God. <laughs> She is. Of course. So tell us about your, your any any interesting clients this week? Um, well, I got a call today. Woman wants to stop smoking. Went through the regular talk about cigarettes and tobacco. And, and then she said, yeah, that sounds good. And do you also do other substances? And I said, well, what are you talking about? She said, well, I drink a couple of drinks a day and it's really affecting my ability to lose some weight. And I said, well, that's not a huge deal. Anything else? And she said, well, there's meth. So, yeah, she sounded um, highly functional. So I know that you can be a functional meth addict. I don't know how functional. But how do you be a functional meth addict? Yeah, I I haven't run into too many. <laughs> I've actually I actually know I knew some functional heroin addicts. Yeah, heroin. They 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 like Bill they Hall. started. Yeah. But I mean, like really function, like had jobs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Not uh, just methadone, but really, truly. Wow, that's interesting. So, what do you say? Uh, well, there's some red flags there, of course. But if I said working on doing the tobacco first is always it's let's the start the easiest one. Let's just do that, and then go from there. Uh, we'll see. I. I'm, I'm putting in a 50 50 that she'll actually call back and uh, go for it. 
That's well, interesting. Yeah. And how many times do you do you think that would possibly require? Well, again, tobacco nine out of ten times once, but with these complicating factors, she can be in that ten percent. That makes it more difficult. It, yeah. Because when you're doing the the math, you're not you're not really in your right mind to be able to be lucid and and clean with with tobacco. So we'll see. It's possible. It's all possible. Wow. Good luck with that. Sounds interesting though. Is that a first? Uh, is it a first for with a meth addict? Yeah. Um, to my knowledge, it might be. Uh, one of my first clients did not tell me they were dealing with other substance abuse issues. It was like the second client I had, and he kept calling me back and back. <laughs> hey, what are you doing real, today? A little bit uh, and then I, I heard from the person who referred that person to me that yes, he's using other substances and and then that put a little thing in my head, be careful. Be careful with someone who's using other. Would you refer them to their physician, possibly, before you would work with them? No, I, I would want to find out if they have other support systems. Mm -hmm. Physicians generally are not able to do that as ordinary physicians. You, they, the physician would refer out. But as many of you all know, substance abuse is a complicated topic. Mm -hmm. There are so many different ways to approach it, and there's not a one particular way that works for everyone. So, it's case in my book, it's case by case. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you really, you, you really study it. Who's down there? Lisa, Lily, what are you doing? Oh, Lisa, come here. I haven't seen Lisa in a while. No, down here. Okay. Lisa handed me something today like this. Let me see. If just pretend mm -hmm. like this was why? It was cute. I can't see your hand. Out in the barn. She handed me a little wrapped up thing. And then I opened it up with Katie. And it was the cutest little mouse. And then we let him out. Oh. It was in the barn by the by the horses. We didn't want it to get stepped on. It was super cute. And then it ate, and there was peanut butter there. So then it ate peanut butter. I'm like, are you gonna eat all that peanut butter? Go have some, please. Did you scream when you saw it? No, I just she just handed it to me like this. So she's like, here, give this to Katie. I go, what is it? She goes, have Katie open it up. So I open. I'm like, Katie, Lisa said to give this to you. It was a full full day at the ranch, but Blanche will be there on Thursday, so it's going to be all. She's driving out in her Nova, so she'll be <laughs> all guys. Right. She's in she's in Malibu right now with some star. She couldn't tell me who. Yeah, probably she was Cher. Sworn to see. It might be Cher. I told. Oh, I I let everyone know the gigs I did this weekend. There was a guy at the hotel. He played with Sonny and Cher. Wow. So he's going to be on the show. Like, you got to be on my show. He's looking at me like, what? Your show? Yeah. So, yeah. What did you have for lunch today? What did I have? We have so many leftovers. And we were at the farmer's market Sunday. So a lot of produce. And now the stone fruits are coming in. And the berries are coming in. We got blueberries up to our ears. Ooh. Uh, and you're ha at your house? At our house. Oh, at the market. At the market. Yeah, from the market. We don't grow black. But 
a luxury to just grab a handful of blueberries. Oh my god! But we grow blackberries. We have blackberries. Oh, I know. I've done the blackberry dance with you out at your house when you first moved in there. We would just eat them and eat them and eat them and lay in the sun and eat blackberries. Shauna, you want some more blackberries? Yeah, more blackberries, please. They're not ready till the end of July. I, and when I lived up in Willits, we all had our little containers when we go walking. We'd have these containers and we'd just sit there. And... Melanie says, back at you, sis, and Mama Grace in the house. Yeah. So you a... had leftovers today for lunch. Yeah. Did you have leftovers for dinner? Oh, yeah, and left over for dinner. Well, no, I made some I made some fresh food. We had we have some really good oyster mushrooms mm. from the market. From the market. These these spring onions. Maybe now they should be called summer onion. Well, no, they're still spring onions. And Not quite summer yet. Some tofu. And what else I put in there? I think that's it. I, I'm pretty simple with my. I like that. With yeah. rice or with. Yeah, something? with rice. The haiga rice. Haiga. Haiga rice. And. We didn't have any when I was there. No, I guess not. Had basmati rice. Yeah, but that's because we had more of an Indian feel. Um, but I wanted to talk about how how we're going getting back to normal trying to get back to normal uh what's happening so for instance uh i'm i have a a tuesday morning before covid we'd meet in a in, in a uh, group meeting room we ate breakfast together once a week and now we're talking about going back and what that would look like and so if we get back, we're not going to eat because that adds a whole level of complication because unless everyone is vaccinated, um, we got to wear masks. And since there's no way to know that everyone's vaccinated for sure, unless we're not going to be carting people at the door um, because there are all sorts of implications there. So we're just talking about what it would look like to, and when you have a group of people and let's say 75% of them want to get back in real life together in a room, but 25% don't, um, do we do hybrid meetings? Do we do part real, part, part Zoom? And I'm sure these conversations are going on all over now in corporate America and in religious America and any kind of situation where people used to meet well um, even at my gigs this weekend mm -hmm. you know we were we were having that conversation with people that were coming up and you know not everybody was vaccinated right so. and you know you can't sing with a mask on or you could try well i'm outside so we're outside, outside is a whole other deal outside is pretty damn uh, if you're not crammed together. Outside is pretty safe, especially if you are vaccinated. Uh, right. I'm talking about indoors. indoors. Well, so what are you thinking? How are, how are you going to react? Well, I, I'm happy to meet indoors and still wear a mask okay. for myself. And as some of you know, I spent two years living in Asia in the 80s and mask wearing is very common. Ordinary. I've been wearing masks for 20 years, so I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with my masks, except well, maybe, I lost my favorite one. Maybe we're just catching up to what people do in a quarter of the world, which is wear a mask if you're sick or if you're trying to prevent others from getting sick or now they're masks to wear because the air is so polluted. And every Saturday, I wore a mask today when I was pulling the hay, lifting up the hay. There's masks for air quality, and so those masks have to be you know, the, the real deal, the heavy duty masks. 
Lillian's going to start wearing a mask. I'm sure they're. I'm sure they're going to make masks for for doggies. Haven't you seen that? There's a there's a a sign where it shows how you wear the mask correctly and how you wear it wrong, and you know there's a it's like a oh, lab, yeah. and he's got it here, and then he's got it here. It's very funny. Come be oh, baby. With his nose hanging out. You're being crazy. She's being crazy right now. Yeah. Well, I'm all about wearing, continuing with the mask and continuing to be careful. And there, and there's, you know, we should not be shaming anyone. If they want to wear a mask. Uh, that's that. Well. I'm I'm there, but also keeping. What about boosting your immune system in the summertime? I think people think, oh, there's no flu, there's no nothing. Boost. I, I'm I'm a believer of keeping our immune systems in good. In good. Yeah, uh, I'm all for strong yeah. immune system. Now what do you in, the summer, in the summer we have an advantage because we don't have to deal with lack of light, which can really do a number on the immune system. Uh, but on the other side, we tend to stay up later and sleep less in the summer. And that can work the other way. And there's so many good shows on that we just, it cuts into- Oh, what did we watch the other night? Money Heist. Did you Money Heist, that's what you're going to do. No, we started watching, because you guys had already started Money Heist. We started watching some drama, Where a drama. Oh, oh, Mayor, Mayor of Eastwick? Mayor of Eastwick with, with uh, Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. Yeah. Well, I felt asleep. Yeah, Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. Yeah, Kate Winslet. 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 Kate Hmm. If I watch a movie after a certain time, then I'll fall asleep. But like when Grace and I were watching um, Lilyhammer at two in the morning, we weren't falling asleep. No, because it was too good. Good. You get interested. So good. You got to watch something that's not that interesting. But I'm, I'm really not recommending watching something which requires looking at light as a way to fall asleep. Right. Uh, it's hard to, um, sometimes I, I like to listen to a podcast. Now, have you ever tried just putting on a YouTube where they have two hours? Uh, oh yeah. Listening to ocean waves. I've, I've actually done some, I've That's actually awesome. done, I've created some, um, musical. I'm a part of that for sleep and relaxation. Oh yeah with cookie we've done we've done some recording yeah like she does some eight hour ones with all these beautiful sounds in it and stuff yeah, yeah. but yes i do that i do that sometimes i can't listen to music though because if i'm listening to music i'm like oh the bass is a little bit and maybe the yeah no yeah it needs to be so um i have a friend who gave me a recording and these were NASA scientists who took, now there's no sound in, in space because there's, there's it's a vacuum up there, right? There's, there's nothing to vibrate to create sound, but they took waves of energy that the Voyager was picking up from deep space and translated that to audible sound. And it's the most amazing, Thing you could hear it sounds like being in the ocean and listening to whales back in here. Huh? It's, Coming back in here. it's the sound of oh, deep goodness. space if we could hear sound wow she was doing the last and it's she was <clears throat> the way the universe works it's, it's it's a beautiful sound it's not like fingernails on the blackboard it's very relaxing and there are different frequencies from low 
to to maybe something higher that you might hear a whale. Can you share that with us? Um, not at the moment. I'd have to dig it up. Okay, when you do, post it. Uh, maybe next Tuesday or a Tuesday. Yeah, it's it's wild. It's wild to hear what is out there if we had the uh, wherewithal to actually hear it. But we do because we did pick it up and translate it into audible sound. So. Sounds fascinating. I'm all about it. I love, I, I find different things on YouTube and stuff. I love uh, Bansuri, you know, classical Indian flute mm. as a relaxation or any See, raga. I sit there and I go, oh, listen to the, oh, yeah, well, mm, listen to the. Yeah, you could listen to early morning ragas or late afternoon. I listen to ragas. In the morning, I like to do that. I listen to a lot of uh, different chants and stuff to get me in the morning. That's fun. We but, talk, did we talk about that beautiful movie called Disciple? The what? It's a movie out of India called no. Disciple. It's on Netflix now about a young man, maybe in his mid to late thirties. He's a student of classical northern indian vocal vocalist uh he has a guru he is not that great uh but it's it's a calling it's it's like it's as much as having a spiritual teacher and in the classical way if you're a student you are completely devoted and nothing else matters you give up everything for your pursuit of classical vocals. And so the movie is partly about how no one wants to listen to classical Indian music anymore. There's a very small group of people who, who are in that world and, and participate, but mostly it's about uh, Bollywood and pop music. Is it Disciple or Disciples? Disciple, singular. On? Netflix. Check it out, everybody. It's, it's, it's slow moving. Slow moving Indian movie. Yeah, but it's, but it's beautiful and it hits on many different levels. What it's like to be a disciple, a student, to give everything up for your art and what happens and what happens when i understand you, yeah yeah you there are a lot of artists, as artists we know lillian hi hi pearl you're trying to tell me something lillian says when are we going to go finish our card game we're, we were we were playing a card game earlier and we're having an, an a late dinner tonight with the fam with the girls kind well, of like unusual it won't keep you up won't you up. No, I'll be. I'm gonna have salad, and then we're gonna play our finish our card game, and then maybe I'll watch Disciple, and I'll fall asleep. Or no, Mayor of Eastwick. Mayor of is it Mayor of Eastwick? Yeah, M A R E. Eastwick, like the witches of Eastwick. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Patty, are you on tomorrow morning? Are you making and baking and Ashana cookies and cocktails tomorrow night? She's right here. She's whispering tomorrow night. Only if you want to. She's checking her calendar. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I have a I have a, a she has a thing. Shibori dye project with the kids at school after school. Oh, the dye project tomorrow. Yeah, dye project. Shibori. I don't know what that is. Shibori Shibori? Shibori? No. Japanese. Some Greek. Japanese dying. I'll thing. be home by I should definitely be home by like six thirty. So I'll be good. Yeah. The show's at eight eleven. Yeah. You could do Shibori if you wanted. You could do Shibori and Champagne. 
Uh, Patty's doing yeah. baking in the morning. Maybe we'll make um, breakfast dinner. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, mom's mom's excited. There's Shauna. She's she'll be on tomorrow night, Mama Grace. Hi, <laughs> hey, Mama Grace. Oh, hi, hi, Shauna. Hi, sweetheart. Okay, there it is, William. William just posted the movie. Thank oh, you, Shauna. Hi. Thank you, William. He's so good. He's just like. I, I think Mayor of Eastwick is might be HBO. I can't remember where it was. Oh, do we have any requests? Like what people would like to cook? Do you guys have any requests for something that Shauna could cook? It has it can't be anything deep fried. No. It, it, Why don't you pick something out tomorrow night and then, then people will see more of you know of, of your style and then they'll be inspired. Does that make sense? Cool. Music is the same. You give up everything for your calling, sometimes for nothing. Well, I did I did take a screenshot of something yesterday that I found quite powerful. And let me see if I can find it really quick. Screenshots, the latest screenshot. I have a lot of screenshots on my phone. You know what I got excited about? I found Tower of Power's little tiny concert, little tiny oh. desk concert on NPR. Um, oh, you, oh, the tiny desk concert, not the not the show at the Fox. Have you watched the anniversary show at the Fox? Did it actually happen, or they postponed it? Oh no, my friend Arthur was the director of it. Oh, I'd love to see it. It's fabulous. So this is what I found yesterday: four musicians. Number one. You will get rejected. Number two, you will have people dislike your music. Number three, you will lose money. <laughs> Number four, you will have sleepless nights. That's why we have Dr. Andrew Rader. Number five, you will be ignored on social media. I know there's only five people here right now. I'm feeling a little ignored, but five really cool people. Number six, you will play small venues. Number seven, you will almost talk yourself out of it again and again. <laughs> Number eight, you will feel like giving up. Number nine, you will al almost give up. Number 10, but don't, it'll be worth it. Aww, there it is. Yeah. It'll be worth it. <laughs> Because then you get to hang out with cool people like Andy and Shona and all of you. Well, you know that old story, how to make a million dollars in folk singing? You got to start with start two with or three. Yeah. It's like starting your own record label. How do you start your own record label? Yeah, they are Carl. Carl knows. Carl's been playing guitar for 55. How many years, Carl? I mean, I'm going to say 50, but 40. 40 something, 50, you know, master guitar player, master guitar player. But anyway, I do too, Karen. Thank you. Well, Karen's here, Karen. So tomorrow morning, Patty, something, something crazy fun. And I'll probably make something from the, um, what's the name of the bakery, Lisa? Model Bakery. Model bakery. A, glu a gluten-free model bakery recipe. You're going to make the, do you have a cookbook? The model bakery cookbook. Ooh, I want to see. Maybe you the can model bakery. See the model bakery cookbook. Wow. Because you know they're famous for their English muffins. No, I don't know. Yeah. Where are they? Where they're in Saint Helena. Oh wow. Saint Helena, Napa, and Yountville. Wow. Cool. Oprah, yeah. Oprah's favorites, yeah. They're Oprah's favorites, so you know they fly them down to Montecito for Oprah and the prince and his wife, probably. Oh. <laughs> what have you made that you that you really like? Lisa's made the the English muffins. Mm -hmm. What else have you made from here? Bread, there's lots of different breads. Vanilla, oh, that's vanilla buttercream. And there's a nice, uh, there's an espresso. 
So Bundt cake, the model bakery's granola. I yeah, make. I'm gonna say the granola. I make granola. You make granola. Almond croissants. Yeah, oh, oh, there you go, Andy. Morning buns. Oh yeah. The morning buns. Yeah. Morning buns. Okay. Morning buns. So we'll figure out something gluten free to eat to make tomorrow. Well. While Patty's making something, with lots of really great smelling gluten. I love the smell of flour in the morning. Yeah, it, it, it's a uh, it's a hard one to fight. Yeah, but you know when you wake up every morning with, you kind of go, you know, I don't need that anymore. Maybe we could talk about simple carbs next time. Because that's my weakness and my challenge. Simple carbs, pirate booty. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. So next week, next you'll come back. Andy will be back next week, you guys. What? Tell us where you're going this weekend. Oh, we're going to see our youngest, uh, Nadev, his graduation from Cal Poly. And and we're gonna see our little grandson Luca. <laughs> and all the aunties and great grandmas are gonna be fighting over who's gonna hold him. It's okay. called the Model Bakery Cookbook, Karen. I'm sure if you just here, let me do this. How fun, Andy. How very fun. When do you guys leave? Friday morning. Oh yeah, who's and who's taking care of my friend? Emma? Emma? Mm -hmm. um, our, our friend who, the piano teacher. Out. Fine. Out taking care of Emma. Oh good, okay. You're welcome. Yeah, I, oh I just, I did it wrong Karen, but modelbakery.com. Okay, I will see you oh. All right, Andy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Emma. Love you too. See you tomorrow night. Okay. Cookies and cocktails with Shauna. Doesn't mean it's gonna be cookies. Doesn't mean it's gonna be cookies. Doesn't mean it's gonna be cocktails, but she's gonna make something. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Here, we could dance a little bit if you want. All right, kids, I am going to go eat some beautiful salad that Shauna made. I mean, that that Katie made, and then we're going to play cards. So huge hug to you. I don't think I hugged today. Did we hug? Sometimes when I'm on my phone, it's harder to hug because it's harder to balance it somewhere. But my sister got me this super groovy table for my laptop. Thoughtful thoughts. Don't forget, don't worry about the potatoes. Just that salad. Tenacious words and a thumping heart. Mama Grace, I can see you. I'm already in the same room with you. The rest of you, hopefully see you tomorrow morning with Patty or tomorrow night with Shauna. And if not, we'll see you when you see you. You'll see me when you see me. Sleep well, stay safe. Stay healthy, be nice, and how do we end the show, Gracie? Love hard. Love hard. Really hard. Really hard. Thank you, Andy and Shauna, and thank you, Patty, and William, and Karen, and Julie, and Rob, Rob Morocco, and Carol, and Joanne, F. Henry, and, and the Melanie, chair, and, and Melanie, Melanie, and Lisa, and, Lisa and, and Katie, and Mama Grace. And she I'm anxious to see the chair. Oh, yeah, Thursday night. It's conversations with the chair and Joanne F. Henry. Good. Have a great night, you guys. I'll see you soon on. A letter, a letter, a letter, a letter.